AMD stock, the capitulation is back. The fear, the doubt, the anger around this company returns because in the space of a single day, it is down 4.79%, a massive pullback. The type of pullback that causes investors to doubt themselves. To look at this company, the company that they've been, been bullish on for a while and say, you know, I'm not as fond of it anymore. I'm not liking this pull out. I'm not liking this volatility over the past five days alone, down 9.24%. So what should you be doing? What should you be doing in this time of doubt, in this time of volatility, in a time when the stock you've trusted for so long, when you've been fond of for so long, is having a pullback? What should you be doing? Well, number one, why is it happening? Why is this occurring? And I think to understand that, we need to understand the business. We need to think not just about the ticker, not just about the volatility in AMD stock right now. We need to think what about the characteristics of AMD's underlying business and how is that influencing the movements in the stock price? So what is AMD as a company? Beyond just a, a semiconductor firm, you need to think about the underlying nature of its business relative to the market at large. What type of stocks are being punished right now? What type of stocks are being pulled down irrespective of their underlying quality? And when you ask yourself that question, when you investigate that line of thought, you begin to realize AMD is a growth stock. And a growth stock with a massive degree of growth predication. Just look at this. A P.E. ratio of 36.33. Naturally, this type of stock is going to get pulled down in this market. Think about it. What type of stock has been hit the hardest? What type of stock has been falling down rapidly day over day, every single day, week over week? What have we been seeing? Companies with a large degree of growth predication. The NVIDIAs, the AMDs, the Googles, the Amazons. We've seen them pulled down so aggressively. And it's because there's a large degree of growth predication priced in. And that's exactly what we're seeing with AMD. Six months, down 17%. Year to date, now down 38.06%. Continued declines, aggressive declines. And now you may ask, are they justified? Lockie, the Fed is increasing rates. Lockie, inflation is out of control. All these bad things are happening. All these bad things that will naturally pull down growth stocks. I understand that. I'm aware of that. Yes, the Fed is raising rates and that is going to impact any equity with a large degree of growth predication, including AMD. I agree with that. I acknowledge that. Absolutely accurate. But as an investor, and as someone who's not focused on day-to-day -day price movements or on the actions of the Fed, someone who's focused on building their wealth over the long term, I think if you step back and you take a look at this company, not with the lens of what is the price movement going to be, what's my price target a week, two weeks from now, but instead what's my price target 15, 10 years from now? a long-term investing lens, when you do that, everything kind of gets set aside. You know, I was reading a, a Seeking Alpha article yesterday stipulating that AMD is a strong buy below $100. And he goes to outline a pretty compelling case. AMD recently completed their acquisition, which is expected to be accretive to both margins and free cash flow. How many investors right now do you think are thinking about that? How many investors who are seeing this falling stock price, retail investors, who've gone to this market within the past one to two years, how many of them do you think are thinking about those factors when they're looking at declining stock price? Increasing free cash flow accretion, in, earn, increasing earnings accretion. All those fundamental characteristics coming into play, becoming a more advantageous business on a fundamental level. But this price action isn't indicative of that. It's not indicative of movement on a fund fundamental level, improvement in terms of the underlying quality of the business. What it is indicative of is fear in the marketplace. Doubt around extrinsic factors which we simply can not control. And as long as that is the fact, as long as this decline in price is predicated upon things that are out of our control, extrinsic risk factors, not things that are grounded in the present, things that are grounded in fundamentals, then I think you know what my answer is. I think we know what my response is. To this is it is buy this is an obvious buying opportunity when you analyze it on a fundamental level everything remains in place and yes some of you may say the the growth assumptions are too high too much growth is being priced in this company it's ridiculous the price in 25 percent growth going forward which is what i've been pricing in i disagree when you look at a company like nvidia how fast that has been growing compounding at in excess of 35% over the past decade. And even you look at a company like Intel, a company like INTC, ticker symbol, thinking about that company, Intel has been growing at 21.5% over the past five years. And you're telling me 
that AMD, one of the highest growth companies within the semiconductor sector, a company with secular trends to the roof, surrounded by advantageous trends going forward, you're telling me that this company can't grow slightly faster than Intel over the past five years? I think that seems a bit outrageous. I think when you price in 25% growth going forward, especially with the most recent decline, you get a very compelling opportunity. 25% growth going forward, priced in with a 9% discount rate, you get a price target of $138.25. A very, very advantageous buy. Now, naturally you're going to say, yes, it looks undervalued. Yes, it's been priced down. Yes, it's been pulled down by the market. Yes, there are positive things happening around the company. This looks like a compelling buy, but, but what about the underlying business? Naturally, with stocks like this, people like to think they're speculative. They like to look at the massive run-up in these equities, and they like to think, oftentimes, that that's indicative more of euphoria than underlying quality. You look at the run-up in a company like Teladoc. Yes, that went through the roof. Up 100, 200% in the space of just a few months. And naturally, when people see a stock like AMD, when they see it running up as it has over the past five years, up 615%, the natural stipulation is, you know that can't be justified growth. That's been euphoria. It's been part of the longest, largest bull market ever. That's what people say. But I almost guarantee you that people who are stipulating that, people who are making that argument towards, you know, a company grounded in euphoria rather than fundamental quality, they haven't actually looked at AMD. Because if you actually take a, a deep dive into AMD and look not just at the euphoria, not just at the factors around the business, but instead analyze the company on a fundamental level, you begin to realize everything is there. There's a tremendous degree of financial strength still with a cash to debt ratio of 5.46, an immense degree of fundamental quality present, high equity to assets, historically, some of the highest the company has ever achieved, indicating an immense degree of financial stability in the event of a downturn, a high Altman score of 21.95, extremely high quality on a fundamental basis and on a profitability basis, or net margins of 19.24% increasing over time. Margin growth is one of the greatest opportunities when it comes to AMD increasing profitability over time over the long term, over the next 10, 15, 20 years. I can see margin growth. I can envision margin growth growing all the way up to 25, 26, perhaps even in excess of 30% over the long term, more in line with the margins of NVIDIA at present. NVIDIA has net margins around 36%. I don't think it would be unjustified to believe that AMD could grow somewhere near that. So it's a high quality business. It's a financially strong business. It's a firmly entrenched business. It's a business that people are saying below $100 is an absolute deal. Increasing free cash flow, increasing margins, and a business that's accelerating its growth going forward. And with high returns on equity and returns on assets, returns on equity of 46.48% and returns on assets of 29.68%. This is a very advantageous buy. And you know what makes it more advantageous? It's not just the the fundamental quality. It's not just the appealing valuation of pressure to margin of safety around 40%. What it is, is the current situation around the business. The current trends surrounding this company, when there's doubt, when there's fear, that equals opportunity. That equals a chance to buy. That is the type of opportunity we're seeing with AMD right now. So when you see these declining graphs, when you hear people saying the company and the world is ending, that it's down 38% on the year, it can't possibly be a buy. When the word uninvestable comes into play, that should be a signal that's an opportunity. That should be a signal to look at the fundamental quality, to conduct your own analysis, to understand the business on a fundamental level and come to your own conclusion, is it a buy? And I think once you analyze all the factors I've shown you, when you look at the financial strength, when you've looked at the profitability, when you've analyzed it on a tangible, fundamental level, ignoring the negative extrinsic factors which are completely out of your control, and as long as you take a long-term lens, as long as you approach it with the, the ideal holding period and the discipline to hold, hold it over 5, 10, 15 years, then I believe over the long term, this can be a very, very advantageous buy. Despite the recent declines, despite the recent pain causing the stock, a lot of investors being a little upset with this. They thought this company was going to continue running up, but we've had a massive decline recently. So naturally, with this type of decline, I encourage you to persevere. If you're an AMD shareholder, then hold on. Be patient. Take a long-term lens with this company. And if you're looking to buy, 
If you're yet to enter a position, then I believe now is a pretty opportune time. Companies looking very, very attractive. When things are uninvestable, that means you should invest. When things, people are saying run away, that means you should invest. When people are saying it's done, it's finished, it's not the time to get into AMD, that is the time to invest. So if you enjoyed this video, if I'll give you some insight on my thoughts on AMD right now, why I'm continually bullish on the company despite the recent declines, then please drop us a like down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.